Three Minute Modernists. Actually, I want to start with a question about a publication that you were involved with and find out what level called Processed World. Mm. And so how were you involved with that over the years? Well, yeah, I was part of the Processed World Collective for a long time uh, as a tech worker. Back in, the, back in that period of time, I was working in the, in the electronics industry. Mm -hmm. And so I was uh, part of a group of people who wanted to... Uh, Organize, you know, either you know people who work with technology, whether you were in an office or a lab or a shop or whatever. And so, um, I yeah, I was part of that collective. Um, uh, at the time, I was working at Hewlett Packard. I was essentially on an electronics assembly line. Back yeah. that was back in the day when Silicon Valley was still somewhat new. I was working in Silicon Valley. Uh, I was assembling uh, transformers uh, and building Fourier analyzers and laser interferometers for oh, wow. HP. Uh, and yeah, we saw Process World as a subversive project to, uh, you know, hopefully radicalize people who are working in the tech industry. I know that one of the people who was working on it was a guy named Jake Kinney doing the uh, art, and his stuff has been one of my favorites since, like, the... The stuff I was seeing when I was a kid, my dad would bring home zines and I would color in the <laughs> illustrations. Yeah, I love Jay Kinney. So, I mean, I kind of grew up on Mad Magazine, and uh, I was super into all the underground comics. Mm -hmm. And Process World, I think one of the great things about Process World, that it w was very visual. There were lots of graphics cartoons oh, yeah. everywhere throughout, and that was a really important part of Process World. Mm -hmm. And phenomenal covers. I think we have about a half dozen of them in the museum. Cover art, yeah. And just, oh, man, killer. Yeah.